Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. I've just seen the Han Solo movie and honestly, guys, it's really, really good. Way better than I even expected. I had low expectations, but if you have been ignoring this movie and you are a Star Wars fan, go and check it out despite what everyone says. It's absolutely amazing. But anyway, enough of that, enough of me. Let's get into today's video where we will be talking about the brand new shopping cards coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very, very soon. This was obviously confirmed a long time ago that shopping carts would be a drivable vehicle in Fortnite Battle Royale, but unfortunately, since that was leaked around about two months ago now, nothing really came of it. Like, nobody really said anything, no files again were leaked, and over time, they kind of added little tiny bits, little by little, obviously, and uh, it looks like they're finally ready to actually give us our first look at vehicles in Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, now, before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like, and let's see if we can hit 700 likes, that would be awesome, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite news videos, just like this one right here. Do not miss out on this channel, guys. Honestly, I am always up to date on everything by at least a day. Uh, but anyway, let's get into talking about it. So, of course, you guys have probably played on Fortnite today, and you would have seen that on the new update tab, it comes up so with something that looks like this on screen right now. And as you can see, it says here, new updates, shopping cart, coming soon. Roll, it, roll into battle alone or with a buddy. Now, this was actually a really cool thing. I love the way they confirmed that there would be a passenger seat on these things because a long time ago when I leaked this information, nobody believed me that I said that people would be able to get inside the shopping trolley and you would be able to push them around. Nobody believed me and finally, you know, it is officially confirmed now. So I'm really happy that they've done that. So to all you guys who is naysayers, Screw you, man, okay? <laughs> no, but seriously, though, this was actually, uh, yeah, first reported back in March that there would be, like, more shopping carts around the map. I mean, if you looked in various places, there was constantly, like, new ones propping up around the map. Like, there's so many. If you haven't already noticed, there are so many shopping carts around the map since last March. And, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting because uh, a lot of people very quickly quickly went to the in-game files, checked these out, and actually saw that, you know, they would actually be drivable. But up until now, nobody really knew how or when. Now, the cool thing about this is that, as always, guys, you know, I am the leak master here. I, I like getting leaks. I go into the in-game files myself. Sometimes, if I'm not quick enough, I'll use other people's leaks and kind of credit them and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, that is exactly what today's video is. I'm going to be crediting FNBR leaks on Twitter because they actually went into the in-game files whilst I was at Solo and watching that movie. And they actually found a brand new load of new information uh, which is really really interesting now unfortunately there isn't actually anything here that says that you can add on weapons to your shopping cart but originally back when it was released i said personally that i played a game called cell damage on the playstation 2 it's a very awesome game where you had a cart and basically you would go around the map you would collect weapons and then they would be attached to your cart, in which then you could shoot other players, you know? And I thought, you know what, what would be really cool here is because not many people actually use the minigun in this game, how cool would it be if you could grab one of these shopping carts, strap on a minigun and run after people, pushing it while also shooting at them? I thought that would really be really cool, and honestly, up until now, we really don't know anything. It's, it's very unfortunate, actually, that nothing in the in-game files here suggests that we're able to actually add on weapons to these cards, but how cool would that be? Come on, guys, please agree with me. I would love if I could get some agreeance here. Agreeance? Is that a word, guys? I don't think it is. I'm just really, I'm really hot. I've got sunburn all over me. I'm a freckled dude, so I don't tan, and I'm really like, oh, it's hot in the UK right now. Uh, but anyway, as you can probably see on screen right now, guys, we will have a uh, leak kind of video from FMBR Leaks. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of play them a, a second here. I'm going to be checking out some of the information that it says. So starting off with the first couple of lines here, it's obvious that we're going to be able to have, a, you know, breaking. You know, we're going to be able to break on the card, you know, so we can stop and come to a quick halt. Uh, shopping carts can also fall off the side of mountains. I don't know how you guys are going to get on top of mountains with these guys. But uh, yeah, apparently you can. Also, they have a lot of things. Like, look at this one right here. I mean, obviously, you're going to have to find it with your own eyes. But right here, it says at the very top, Idle, aim left, shopping cart, MSA. Now, that's really interesting because, yeah, it's, it's actually suggesting us that we are going to be toggling whether we can, like, aim to the left 
or aim to the right. So yeah, that is very, very exciting stuff to be honest. I mean, I, I personally for me, I think that's really cool the way you will be able to actually aim left and right whilst using a shopping cart. Maybe it'll be something like, you know, if you put your uh, fellow, you know, teammates into the shopping cart itself, maybe he gets like toggles where to look forward, left or right, you know? So maybe it's something along the lines of that. Uh, so, you know, it is actually pretty uh, apparent to us that yes, we will be able to shoot from these vehicles themselves, but maybe not attach weapons to them. So, you know, still, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys would have heard the in-game files for these things already. And if you haven't already, basically, these are really fast. I mean, you can just tell by the way it sounds that these are going to make you a lot faster when using them. So these actually could be used as a quicker way to get, you know, out of the storm. Let's say, for example, you know, you're low health, you got 28 HP or something, you're running from the storm, you find one of these bad boys, grab it and then go. I'm pretty sure that you will be able to go a little bit quicker when holding a shopping cart. And obviously there's so many of them across the map. I will probably have a video on where to find these guys sometime in the future. So definitely check out for that guys because I know a load of places where you actually can find them. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna be clicking play here and just kind of going on. And it basically says here that the passenger can actually turn inside the shopping cart itself. I'm not really too sure about this. It says here, shopping cart passenger turn, E-T-O-N. Uh, so basically what I'm thinking that means is east to north, you know? So they're pa they're basically like uh, turning themselves to aim from east to north. I'm not too sure why these are all separate files, but you know, making a game is very, very difficult. And I can only imagine that it is necessary. Other than that, it says here that when you're sprinting, you can also lean left and lean right, uh, which again, I'm not 100% sure about, but still, it's kind of cool to know all of this information before we actually get it in game. Of course, you know, nothing's going to be as good as actually trying it out, but it's kind of cool to get a little bit of a gist on what can, to expect, you know? So, I don't know, I know a lot of you guys uh, who are watching this video have probably already turned off by now, but you know, this this information is good for some people, so that's pretty much why I'm making it, you know? And uh, other than that, I'm pretty sure we just kind of go through again. There's just basic information on the fact that we're able to walk, sprint, and jog. So there's gonna be three different uh, kind of uh, run modes with this actual item itself. Now, I mean, if we use our common sense here, we can obviously see that if we are going up a mountain, you know, uh, carrying such a heavy load is going to make you slow down, you know? So obviously this will only work in certain ways. You know, if you're going downhill, oh my God, you're gonna go guys, I'm telling you. But, you know, for the people who are going uphill, I would assume that it would go from a sprint into a jog and then eventually maybe just a casual walk, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know, I, I, very interesting indeed. I would love to see what it looks like in game. Uh, but all of this information here is good because, you know, it does confirm to us that you can aim inside the shopping cart, possibly you and the passenger too. You can also have three different kind of toggleable uh, kind of running modes, which is walking, jogging and sprinting. And also, if we just kind of go back up to it, obviously I'm not going to play it on screen right now, but, you know, if you go back to the little image where I played it a second ago, a little video, uh, we can see that it also says uh, breaking outro. So, uh, yeah, obviously we can stop at a halt if we need to be. Now, again, I just really, really hope that we can actually put, you know, weapons onto this thing. I think that would be really cool. And if Epic haven't already thought about that, it is a huge, huge, seriously, a, ser a silly thing that they've done because it would be so cool if in the future we had just one game mode where everybody had to find a shopping cart and they had to attach weapons to kill people, you know? So it was basically like a, a kind of auto royale, you know? So basically everyone's in shopping carts and you have to find weapons to actually attach. Um, I think that would be pretty cool, you know, for the people who don't get weapons, they have their pickaxe at the front of it, ready to like smash like Robo, Robo Wars kind of style, you know, and for those who are lucky to get like scars, maybe it's like a scar uh, on the front center kind of thing, you know, people for the minigun, of course the minigun on a, on a thing like this would be much better than the scar, because obviously, you know, it would be like a, it, it would just be a tank, it would be insane, it would be, I mean, imagine a rocket launcher on this bad boy, that would be insane, dudes, uh, but other than that, this information is really cool. I'm glad that we actually got confirmation that it is coming out. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited that we will be getting this. And surely 
when these actually get added, presumably on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, we will have some brand new skin leaks, guys. So please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications, because I will have those as soon as I can up ready on a video for you guys. So definitely don't miss out on that because, uh, you know, like I said, you would just be missing out if you didn't already subscribe to the channel. Uh, but anyway, tell me what you feel like in the comment section below about these things getting added to the game. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Is it a little bit too early to tell? Tell me in the comment section below. I would love to know. Uh, but other than that, guys, I will leave you with the gameplay in the background. And uh, yeah, as always, have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh. See ya!